What's up everybody and welcome back to Team Pizza Plays the Shovel Knight Challenge Mode. I of course am with new and let's start off this episode by pulling a Harry Potter with Expecto Patronum! Or Extendo Retracto, whatever works for you. This stage isn't so hard, again it's one of those things like, you just have to know what to do and when. It's more about understanding, really more than anything, the pattern, of the timing of when these platforms are going to come out, in and out. Like, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Once you got that down, you can pretty much time all of your jumps perfectly. It's one of, a lot of different platformers do this to varying degrees of effect, or varying degrees of success. Some do it better than others, and because the guys over at Yako Games are gods, it's of course done very, very well here. Haha, <laughs> they even build on a challenge you completed previously and give you a little more dirt clod to work with. Bounce ourselves up there. And now, notice how the description before this said you have to use the phase locket cleverly to get through this stage? Watch this. See how it freezes you in air and you can use it to basically land yourself on top of that platform? Hmm, <laughs> tricky tricky. But yeah, again, a challenge that's not that hard. And again, uh, this next challenge as well, the Dragon Chase Race. <laughs> Don't do what I did in the beginning here and forget that you could break snow blocks like that. I must have thrown myself into the pit like three times just trying to catch this thing right away, being like, what the hell am I doing wrong? Oh yeah, I'm completely forgetting all of the rules of the game. Also, one other thing I want to point out. You may have noticed so far that every single one of these stages is based off of one of the... Uh, different characters that you meet over the course of the journey. One of the various knights of the Order of No Quarter. In fact, I think every single one of them is represented at least once. Uh, this, of course, being Polar Knight's stage, and oh boy, I am not looking forward to his boss fight rematch. Like, if I have to do that thing legitimately without the phase locket at all, I actually have to deal with the spikes that he summons. Yeah, that's gonna be ugly. <laughs> but for now, just a little more getting used to the pogo jump, which if you were playing the game, if you played the original game all the way through, you should already be quite familiar with. This part right here, if you have to do two bounces on one of those little dragons to get all the way up here, do so. I've had situations where I went up and I was so far ahead of schedule that I actually didn't have enough time to go back and ride that guy over to the top. So. Just be aware that that can happen. Pogo jumping is going to be the bane of our existence in this, in the challenge nine, but for now, bird or herder. Watch the exact pattern I go through this stage in, the exact things I do and when. I wait for this guy to go over me. Don't get hit by any of those fireballs, by the way. Like, notice how you only have one life bar to work with here? Yeah, that's... <laughs> One of those fireballs will kill you instantly in that case. It's an immediate fail state. So just don't be stupid and you should be fine. Of course, now that I'm up here, some of these gems have a chance of falling to the bottom. Oh crap, I need that diamond. No, 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 give me something to work with here. This wasn't in the plan. This wasn't in the plan. I didn't mean for any of this to happen. Whoop! <laughs> had a little bit of a speedrunner's heart attack right there. Like, when your plan doesn't work out and you have to improvise a new situation, it's like, crap, what do I do now? What do I do now? I've completely forgotten how to play the game. This stage, the cog bounce, the challenge nine, I have never gotten consistent results on this one. Never. Like, I, can't, I cannot memorize any way to do this consistently. Like, I have a general pattern that I go through and I try to memorize. Like, there's one more cog I gotta bounce on before I go onto the moving ones down there, but that's about it. Sometimes my bounces won't work in such a way to where I actually hit the one above me and it just becomes a problem for everybody. Namely me. <laughs> Maybe you too if you don't like watching me repeat things. Like that! That's what I'm talking about right there. In my mind, I'm doing the exact same pattern I did before, and yet I'm having completely different results. And I know what it is, too. It's the timing of when I start the pogos. Like, if I'm off by just a little bit, it can completely screw up my run. This cog right here. Make sure you pogo off of that thing when it's at its lowest point, so you don't just slam yourself straight into the spikes in the ceiling. Try saying that three times fast. <laughs> 
Just go for a light jog on these treadmills too. Those missiles are more of a problem than they first seem to me. If you don't miss that, if you miss that first jump, don't worry. You can just ride the missiles up. And considering the amount of training you've had with Pogo jumping up to this point, the other challenge is it shouldn't be any problem whatsoever. Now here's the last part. Can I have just one death in this stage? I'd settle for that. And during the recording, mm, woo -hoo 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 -hoo. by the skin of our teeth, we did it. Challenge clear. Which brings us to the 10th and final platforming challenge of the Shovel Knight challenge mode, which, ironically, I think is actually one of the easiest ones. Now, you'll notice we can only take one hit. Anything and everything during the unarmed ascent will immediately kill us. But the problem is, all of the challenges, all the hoops they make you jump through, aren't that deadly. Now that I've said that, watch me die absolutely immediately. Trigger that, guys little fireball there early so that you have enough time to climb the ladder. Hide under here so the initial wave of fireballs don't affect you. Wait just a second for the snow to go by. Don't wait too long though, otherwise you get blizzard on, blizzarded on anyway. I'm so jarred by that I can't even speak. Alright, two deaths in this video, cut ahead. Much better. That's exactly what I needed to do the first time. And that's it. That's the end of this area. Like, you'd think there'd be a lot more to that stage, but no. That's that's all they make you jump through. That's all they make you do. And that's the end of the platforming challenges here. Kind of going off on a small note, but <laughs> don't worry. We're going to get plenty of frustration from having to fight the bosses over again. So, please join me in the next episode to join me for all of the pain and torture and oh god this is gonna take me forever <laughs> see you then guys